here. Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? Off to you, Professor. What is this place? This is the Room of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident, if ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now. Where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. Chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? are trying to rest. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. This isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! No! 
not uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of sin. <clears throat> How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? Akio! <laughs> What was that? Akio! Was that a golden stitch? Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. Self can find us in here. Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep-seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> oh, that explains it then. Well then, the room can... Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. to identify, for now at least. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. I imagine the desk of description will come in hand. It will. I hope you'll take... Now, I'll give you a brief... Conjuring? Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like... You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table. I did. Where? While resources... 
They can also be collected by vanishing ob... I see. Can I re... You can indeed. Why don't you give it a try? You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the one... whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. I will be... Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some. You can acquire it by vanishing items. Return to me one. I have the moonstone you. Good. Then we. You can conjure more than potions, and conjuration can be used to deco. Why don't you try it?
Good work. Shall we move on? I've conjured everything. I think you're ready to take. The altering spell will allow you to custom. You can change the colors, pattern. Let's get started, shall we? What's... Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell to customize it. Nicely done. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready.
Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I'd like the room to feel mysterious and eerie. Oh, sounds perfect. You needn't keep this style if you don't like it. Now you have learned a good... Thank you, Professor. Indeed. No matter how much... to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spell crafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall... Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Thank <laughs> you. 